For this problem, uh, what we have is we're going to be using the product rule and the summer rule. So first, we want to determine the country code. Uh, so since it can have a length of three, we know that there are 10 possibilities representing the 10 digits uh, for the country code. The second character, we have 10 possibilities for 10 digits. And then the third characteristic or third um, character, we have 10 uh, possibilities as well. So based on that, we have a thousand different possibilities for the country code. Then um, what we're gonna have based on that going next, uh, we want to use the product rule when picking uh, a country code of length two. So that would be 10 times 10, so that'd be a length of two. And then a country code with length one would have 10 possibilities. So based on that alone, we see that there are 1,110 possible country codes. Then we want to go on to the actual telephone number. So we know that the first characteristic has eight different ways um, because it can only take on the digits 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So because it can't take on 0 or 1, we'll have 8. Then the rest of them could be 10 times 10. The fourth character we know can only be eight possibilities, but then the rest uh, will have 10, 10, 10, um, times 10, and then I believe one more. Um, one more actually. So right there we'll have uh, 6.4 billion possibilities with regards to the phone number. So now based on that, we have uh, the product rule again because there's all these possibilities with in addition to the country code. So we're gonna multiply this times 1,110 and we see that there are 7 trillion 140 billion different telephone numbers possible given these uh, rules that we have set up. 